Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a review on the new Huda Beauty Easy Bake Press Powders. If you guys haven't heard about these powders or seen anything about them, they are a remake of the original powders that she already came out with, but they're a loose setting powder. Um, so she just came out with the exact same powder, but just in a pressed powder form. I'm really excited for today's video because this is actually my first time trying out the loose powder and the pressed powders. So yeah, you guys, I'm really excited. So I just wanna get right into the review. So I did make a purchase the second that I seen she was coming out with pressed powders I made my purchase um I did a little bit of research as far as the shades that I wanted I definitely knew that I wanted cherry blossom which is a pink powder um but I also wanted to try a different shade too now I did get the shade pound cake that shade is too light for me I will say that um I could make it work but it is a little bit too light. So I feel like the next shade that I'm going to get is Banana Bread. I will put like pictures and everything of the powders that I'm talking about. But yeah, you guys, I am about to show you guys as well. But yeah, I just wanted you to see um, exactly what I'm talking about as I'm talking about it. Because yeah, you guys, like the powder is really, really light um, in the shade Pound Cake. Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to show you guys is Pound Cake in the loose setting form. So this is what it looks like. Really, really light yeah really light and something that i also found out about this product you guys is that even though it's a loose setting powder it does have pigment to it not just pigment but color it's actually like coverage to this powder that's why i wasn't too um anal about the color because usually setting powders will melt into the skin and it'll kind of adhere to the concealer color versus actually adding more coverage and color when you do set your under eyes if that makes sense so yeah but i did find out last minute that this powder does have a little bit of coverage so yeah that's what that looks like i wonder if you guys can see literally the second that i lift the lid powder like kind of comes out not too much but you can definitely tell off the bat that this powder is finely milled this is probably the most finely milled powder i've ever owned in my life so yeah that's pound cake and then i'll show you guys that shade in the press form this is what the packaging looks like really nice and this is what it looks like for the press form everybody was kind of disappointed with the packaging saying that it just should have been more like fancy that's usually um the designs and everything that she uses for her packaging is kind of fancy and like really nice but i honestly like the sleek look i feel like it's nothing wrong with switching it up so i do like the sleek look a lot so yes this is the shade pound cake trying to show you guys so like it's kind of true to color it is looking a little bit lighter on camera than it does in person but yeah this is what that looks like so yeah that's the shade pound cake so now we're going to move on to cherry blossom which is the shade that we're going to be using in today's video so yeah this is the packaging for the cherry blossom in the loose form and this is what the powder looks like y'all y'all can barely tell on camera but it's it's really really pink really pink i'll probably show you guys like without the lighting so you guys can really see so yeah i'll actually insert a video um over here somewhere of the powder so you can see how pink it is but yeah that's what that looks like you got to be really slow when you're opening up the lid because um not the lid but like the top because powder can get everywhere but yeah that's what it looks like on the inside mm -mm -mm. so beautiful oh my gosh y'all i'm so excited to try this so yeah so that was the loose setting now we're gonna go into the pressed powder form which is what it looks like the exact same as the pound cake and this is what the shade looks like now, like I said, the powders are showing up lighter on camera, but I will say that the pressed powder is lighter than the loose setting powder. So the loose setting powder shows up more pink, while the pressed powder shows up pink as well, but just a little bit on the lighter side. We're going to go ahead and get right into how the powders perform. Stuck inside the stage, you're forward to love, forward to love.
Okay, you guys, so I'm just going to do this eye right now just so I can give you guys my first impressions and my first thoughts as I'm applying the products. So, yeah, I keep seeing uh, pretty much everybody do this and also Huda on her uh, Instagram page when she demos this product. She likes to set her under eyes with the loose setting powder first and then she likes to go in with the Easy Bake Press Powder. So we're just going to do what she does. How I like to set my eyes is I like to go in with like a fluffy brush for the under eye and then I like to bake if necessary so that's what we're gonna do so yeah I'm taking the shade cherry blossom oh I'm so nervous so before I like to get the creases out there's any and then just set Wow, okay. Y'all see that? Instant blur off the bat. Wow. Y'all, when I say like, I'm not using a lot of powder to begin with, don't get me wrong, but I don't feel anything on my skin. Like my under eye area, I don't feel anything. Wow, this is really, really beautiful. You guys, it instantly melts into the skin. Like when I say I don't feel anything, like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful, pretty. Okay, so this is pretty much all the powder that I want to use. Now I'm gonna go in with the Easy Bake and see. So being that I have already seen that this powder does have pigment to it, it's a pressed powder first of all, so it's gonna have more pigment than a loose setting powder anyway. If you guys notice, I like to go in with a concealer closer to my shade to highlight and then I like to go in with a little bit of a um, lighter concealer just in this area right here. So I figured that would be perfect to just apply this powder just in that area. You guys will still be able to see how the powder lays on the skin and everything like that, the finish and everything, but yeah that's just how i'm going to do it because i do want this to come out looking right so i'm going to do what i feel like is you know right for my makeup routine everybody's been going in with a puff i'm not going to do that this powder does come with one but it does take off your makeup so i do not recommend using this at all so i'm just going to keep that in there um and i'm actually just going to go in with a brush and just see how that is so i'm going in with the product it does not pick up a lot at all i don't know if you guys can see but yeah it's a real real thin layer so i'm just going to focus that in this area at the end of the day you guys i am a woman of color so you do want to, <clears throat> you know, keep that in mind when you are using powders this light, especially a pressed powder because, um, like I said, it has more pigment than a loose setting powder. So I don't know about y'all, but I think this looks amazing. Um, a lot of people were saying that there is a sheen, which I definitely do see, but to me, it's not overbearing at all. It's really, really nice. It's still soft and it gives a blurring appearance so i actually don't mind it i was kind of nervous about the whole sheen situation because i do like a matte under eye but this is actually really really nice yeah i, I like this a lot you guys like this is really really nice I'm trying to see like in my viewfinder trying to blend out the edges it's literally like so soft like it's just it looks amazing I'm literally loving how this came out like a lot. I'm just going to do my other eye and give you guys more information about this product and what it's supposed to do, what it claims that it does and everything like that. So the new Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch Press Talc Free Brightening and Setting Powder retails for $38. They come in eight shades and I own two as of right now, which are called Cherry Blossom Cake and Pound Cake. 
the shade that I'm using in today's video is called Cherry Blossom Cake. So this powder has a luminous matte finish designed for a targeted brightening to instantly snatch your face. What this powder claims to do is give a instant lifted look that instantly blurs and brightens for a filter finish in seconds. This powder is talc free and fragrance free, full to medium coverage and sweat and humidity resistant. And you guys, I can truly attest to this. It does every single thing that it claims to do on the website. So I highly recommend this powder, honestly. Okay, you guys, so this is pretty much the completed look and I'm finally ready to give you guys my final thoughts on these products. So we can go ahead and start with the loose setting powder first, just because that's what we use first under the eyes. This is nothing but amazing, you guys. Like when I say this is probably the most finely milled powder I've ever used in my life, literally once i put it under my eyes i literally felt nothing like it was nothing on my skin it melts into the skin so beautifully and right when i put it on my under eyes it would it literally gave it like a complete blurring effect it looks so smooth and just flawless like i literally love this powder so much and it's so crazy how i decided to try out this powder because ever since i tried the one size powder i literally have all of them the translucent sweet honey and ultra pink just not the deep because that's not really my shade but um yeah so i have those powders and ever since i got those i literally threw away all of my other setting powders so i was just like if it's not one size or better i don't want the powder and this is literally I would honestly say slightly better than one size. I'm not going to lie. Like, I will always love one size. That's my top powder. But this is so finely milled. It literally feels like nothing is on my skin versus the one size one. It kind of feels a little bit heavier, but it's still amazing. Like, both powders are amazing. But this one right here is literally, like, no joke. I love this powder so much. And I will say that this does have a slight tint to it as well usually a lot of loose setting powders like i said before um pretty much melts into the skin and doesn't have too much of a tint or coverage but this powder does actually have coverage and a tint as well so that's just something that i feel like you guys should just you know look out for if you don't have this powder just to you know keep in mind but yes overall i highly recommend this powder a lot i love it so now we're going to move on to the pressed powder. Now, if I had to choose which powder I would recommend you guys get, the loose powder or the press, I would honestly recommend the loose just because I'm more of a loose powder kind of girl. So I would choose that loose powder over the press, but that's just my personal preference. Now, as far as the product itself is literally amazing and I do recommend it. Now, people were complaining about how this does have a luminous finish and I will say it does, but it's not too overbearing. I feel like a lot of people said that it was so luminous because they were using a powder puff but for me I was using a brush um that's like fluffy and as you guys can see I went in with a real thin layer because this powder is a little bit light it does have more coverage and it has more color as well so I am a woman of color so using powders like this like a pink powder um you do want to be a little bit more light-handed that's pretty much what I did so it honestly worked out for me I am a matte kind of girl I really do feel like the amount of powder that I used which was so little um it still made a difference it still gave my under eyes that brightening effect but it did not give it too much of a overpowering luminous kind of look so honestly I would recommend you guys use the powder like how I use it if you're not really a huge fan of that luminous kind of look but overall, I do think that this does give a nice brightening effect and it gives really nice coverage as well based off just a little bit that I even use. So if you guys do like that luminous kind of finish and obviously go ahead with the powder puff, um, going with a more dense brush, whatever you want to use that will give you that more luminous look and the coverage as well. But yeah, overall, I really do like this product a lot, you guys, and I highly recommend that you get it. So yeah, you guys, this is pretty much the end of today's review. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are interested in purchasing these products, then please let me know below what colors you want to get or anything like that. And if you do actually get the product, then just let me know what your thoughts are on these products. But my thoughts is that I absolutely love them and I do recommend both products. Also, you guys can comment down below what kind of videos you guys would like to see from me next. And yeah, until next time, I will see you in my next video.